We want to welcome all of you who are here in the sanctuary this morning and those of you who are joining us uh, via live stream this morning for this uh, organ concert this morning. It's such a joy to come together as always once a month to enjoy these times together uh, with our very own Elizabeth Hildebrand, who we'll welcome in just a minute. Uh, I'm Pastor Jim Pyle and have the privilege and joy of serving here at Calvary Church as the senior adults pastor. So we want to welcome you this morning and just uh, sit back, relax, think about the Lord as you listen to these beautiful hymns and songs. Okay, let's open in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace toward us this morning. We thank you for this beautiful sanctuary that we can come and listen to this music this morning and to think about you and to praise you uh, in our own hearts and minds and to sing along and to worship you for you are indeed worthy to be praised. So we ask your blessings upon our time this hour in Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's all give a warm welcome to Elizabeth Hildebrand, our church organist, shall we?
Well, indeed, we do want to rejoice, don't we? Because the Lord is king. And along, those, along that theme, I want to share a few thoughts with you this morning from Psalm 121, which is a song of ascents that the Israelites used to sing on their way to Jerusalem for the annual feasts each year. And most of you are probably familiar with this psalm, but I want to share a few thoughts with you and think about how the Lord indeed is king. The psalmist says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. Now, I want to spend a few moments with you on verses 7 and 8 specifically here, the last part, because the psalmist tells us here that we're assured of God's preservation in our lives, in our lives, his preservation. Let me repeat that, those verses. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Here we see the promise that extends beyond the psalmist's immediate circumstances to cover his whole life, to keep you from all evil, which doesn't imply an easy life, which we're well aware of. This year's been challenging, right, with COVID-19 and all the things that we see going on. But it is one that is well-armed. God will preserve us if we trust Jesus. He'll preserve us through everything. King David reminds us in Psalm 23, verse 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art, what? With me. God's always with us. He'll preserve us no matter what. So maybe you're here this morning and you're maybe a bit discouraged or hurting because of the trials that you're currently going through or some of you watching us uh, via live stream. But God promises us in these last two verses that he will preserve us if we look to him for strength. The main point of this psalm is that God will keep us safe if we look to him as we go through the different trials and tribulations of life. He's with us. He'll keep us safe. He'll preserve us. Jesus said it this way in John 16, 33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have what? Peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Now verse 8. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. He uses a figure of speech here, meaning that he's going to watch over us in everything that we do. He will preserve us at all times, no matter what our circumstances are. Even in the midst of COVID-19, God will preserve us if we trust him. Deuteronomy 28, verse 6. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. Again, that's a figure of speech saying, hey, God is always with us in every circumstance. He'll preserve you. Trust him. So those repeated assurances should calm our hearts and minds as we think about all the things that are going on in your life right now. We need to be reminded again and again and again that God is what? He's watching over us. He's watching over us. As we look up to the cross here, symbolize the cross of Christ, right? We're all under the cross of the Lord Jesus. He's with us. He'll watch over us. The promise of this psalm is not that we shall never stumble or not have injuries in our life or illnesses or accidents uh, or even dealing with COVID-19. But we will, uh, those things will never have any kind of evil power over us. Why? because God's purposes will be fulfilled if we trust him. Nothing can separate us from him. So what should we expect based on this beautiful song of ascents? 
Eugene Peterson summarizes it, summarizes it well in his book, On the Song of Ascents. He says this, The Christian life is not a quiet escape to a garden where we can walk and talk uninterruptedly with our Lord, nor a fantasy trip to a heavenly city where we can compare blue ribbons and gold medals with others who have made it to the winner's circle. The Christian life is going to God, going to Him. In going to God, Christians travel the same ground that everyone else walks on. We breathe the same air, drink the same water, shop in the same stores, read the same newspapers, are citizens under the same governments, pay the same prices for groceries and gasoline, fear the same dangers, are subject to the same pressures, get the same distresses, are buried in the same ground. The difference is that each step we walk, each breath we breathe, we know we are preserved by God. We know we are accompanied by God. We know we are ruled by God. And therefore, no matter what doubts we endure or what accidents we experience, the Lord will preserve us from evil. He will keep your life. It's well stated. God will preserve us. He will sustain us if you're a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're here this morning or watching via live stream and, and you haven't trusted Jesus Christ for salvation, I implore you to do so. And how do you do that? Simply by repenting of your sins and placing your faith and trust in an all-sufficient Savior who came to die for sinners like you and me. And if we trust him by faith, you can have that hope of eternal life and live a life here that's pleasing to God, as the psalmist assures us here that God will preserve us forever. So as the ladies come back up to lead us now, Patty and Elizabeth, that there's power in the blood, I want you to be thinking about that. As we just heard, rejoice, for the King of Kings is on his throne, and God will preserve us. And as they come to lead us in the next song, there is power in the blood, I want you to be thinking about in your own life how God has preserved you in the midst of your circumstances, and he's certainly worthy to be worshiped. Ladies.
That gives me chills as I walk up here, doesn't it, you? Wow, that's just beautiful. Thank you, Elizabeth. Well, as we've been meditating upon how God has preserved us and just rejoicing, the Lord is King. I hope you've been meditating upon those great truths uh, and thinking about the Lord Jesus and how we can run to him at all times. I couldn't help but ask Elizabeth again this month if we could have one more, an encore here to end with, what a friend we have in Jesus. And so I think they'll put the words for us up on the screen so you can sing along in your hearts and minds here, what a friend we have in Jesus, okay? It's just beautiful. Let's thank Elizabeth one more time. Well, thanks for being here this morning and joining us on live stream today. Uh, we're grateful to God that you're, you're here, and it's just, uh, I hope your heart wells up with joy as it does in my heart to, to listen to such uh, beautiful music like that and to think about what Christ has, has done for us, that we indeed can take solace there, that Christ is with us always and will preserve us uh, no matter what we're going through. Before I close in prayer, just a reminder, next month we won't be meeting on Thursday because uh, I see Pastor Tim Hathaway's back here with us. Pastor Hathaway will be leading us the Sunday evening after Thanksgiving, November 29th. you want to mark your calendars. At 6 p.m., we'll be having a, an organ concert here in the worship center. So join us then. So mark your calendars for uh, an organ concert on Sunday, November 29th. So you won't want to miss that either, as Elizabeth and our orchestra and folks will be, be playing and leading us then. So I want to wish all of you a, a blessed Thanksgiving. Uh, Christmas, we won't be meeting in December because of the Christmas season and all the busyness there and so forth. But Lord willing, we'll be back with you uh, in January. So. Okay, so again, thanks for coming. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we rejoice uh, in our hearts this morning that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. 
and that you preserve us. You, you keep us in our going out and our coming in from this time forth and forevermore. And that we're reminded that Jesus Christ is our precious Savior and he's always with us. So guard us, help us to be good ambassadors for Christ in this world that needs hope. The hope of the gospel through Christ. So bless us the rest of this day. Protect us as we travel. Continue to protect us from COVID-19 and just bless our ministries, we pray, here at Calvary Church as we seek to proclaim the glories of you, uh, of you our Heavenly Father. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. God bless.